Abraham Maslow's self-actualization theory is based on a social theory of healthy personality development. He created a pyramid that shows a hierarchy of human needs that um, talks about what will motivate an individual's behavior and their goals. Uh, it starts out with the basic needs at the bottom and moves into the growth needs leading to self-actualization. Um, and uh, this is important for us as teachers because when we look at the basic needs, these are physical needs that need to be met by our, our students. Things like clean air, water, food, shelter, and they move into things like safety and security. And that is our job as caregivers to create an environment where those basic needs are met. Moving into the growth needs, we see a sense of belonging and love and showing self-esteem that is boosted and believing in ourselves in respecting others and respecting ourself. And that's how we get to the self-actualization level. Um, as a teacher, this, the implications are so simple that if our child's basic needs aren't met, they are not going to be able to focus on learning. Their motivation won't be there. When we combine their school life and their home life, do they feel like they're loved? Do they belong? Do they feel like they can take risks? Um, do they have the respect of their peers? And um, do they have good self-esteem? All of these things will contribute to the learning cycle. I know especially with self-esteem, when a child feels like they're a failure at something, they often won't try. They shut down. Um, so we want to set children up for success. And that's why we talk about differ differentiating our instruction. Because the more we can have them successful and we can scaffold the experiences we give them, they'll be able to step by step gain confidence and gain skills at the same time. And that begins this circular pattern where they're getting skills, they're getting confidence, they feel better about themselves. Then we do it again and they feel better about themselves. Um, and that's definitely the right track we want them to be on. Uh, in the opposite effect is where they feel like a failure, they don't want to take risks, then they feel bad about themselves, other children start to feel bad about them, and it's a downward spiral. This matches Maslow's theory of how we get to that self-actualization um, in our adult years. And so by meeting the basic needs and growth needs of children, it will help them when they are an independent learner understand themselves and be able to be a more positive, productive adult.